I'm not fine. <laughs> no! Hey, I'm Kat, and we're gonna be playing The Quarry. You might know me from over on Cat Watches Horror Movies, where I scream and shout my way through horror movies. My roots in content creation and making videos online are video games, and I miss them a lot. A lot of my free time right now has been spent recording movies, which has been amazing, but I've been feeling that itch. I thought to play this game because I played Until Dawn a couple of years ago, and I really enjoyed it. I just love the stakes of making decisions that affect outcomes and I love a good storyline. And I feel like the core is gonna be much of the same, so I'm really looking forward to it. I don't know anything at all about this game. The only thing I know about it is that Ted Raimi is in it. I love Ted Raimi. But also show me someone who doesn't, right? We all watched Xena, didn't we? A few times? I guess I could probably stall for hours, but um... Let's get into it. David Arquette is in this! Okay. Okay. Who's P.O.V. are we in? Lin Shay is in this! I love Lin Shay. Let's go, Laura. Laura will survive, won't she? Why'd you kill the music? I think you know why. Um... <laughs> I don't think I do. Begins with an L? Like the L word? Lesbians? Lost, Max. We're lost. We're just, we're in geographic flux. Right, so, <laughs> lost. That's debatable. In geographic flux. Using that from now on. <laughs> Quick time events. Okay. Take a moment to consider the following, as it will guide you through mm. the various twists and turns mm. that may appear during your stay at Hackett's Quarry. What you see here are quick time events. Which one is which? Which will help you to act at just the right time. Watch your step. Hackett's quarry can be a dangerous place if you're not paying attention to your surroundings. Take your eye off the ball, and it could spell disaster. The path you tread is yours to choose, but that doesn't mean there won't be obstacles along the way. Oh, heads up. Oh, I don't have, I don't know. Oh, it's up. I'm, I'm. Nice catch there, hon. <sighs> I'm not the one who hit the pothole. <sighs> well, maybe the pothole hit us. Ever think about that? Wow, that is like Olympic level goalpost moving. Thank you. Give me a Very few more practices. <laughs> yeah, still totally lost. Mm. I could really use a few more low stakes practices. You know what, Max? It's okay. It doesn't make you any less of a man. You know, if Columbus hadn't gotten lost and landed on these golden shores, there would be no United States of America. Goodbye, hot dogs. See you later, apple pie. Columbus never actually landed in North America. What are you talking about? Didn't even know he wasn't in Asia. Are you serious? Just another guy who didn't want to admit he was lost. Well, just another guy who's got a whole day named after him, so... Put that in your pipe and smoke it. Oh my god. Okay, just get us to camp already before I roll my eyes out of my head, please. <laughs> I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Pick leaflet. Pick map. I'm picking the map. Voila. Picking what the is map. that? Yeah, yeah. No, but seriously, how will happen to the, the normal map? This is the normal map. The one on the phone. No bars. Of course not. Okay, let's see. So we are... Well, I guess they don't put summer camps on maps. Have you seen any signs for it? Hey, eyes on the road! Yeah, oh. dude! What would what? That's a person. Yes, let's go, quick time event. Let's go with it. I'm ready, I'm prepared. There was a woman in the back. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah. I mean, still in one piece. Jesus Christ, what do you think that was? 
A bear? What? No. No, no, Max, I wasn't a bear. What was it? A crouching it person. A person. Oh, are you serious? Do you think we hit a person? I don't know. I mean, it was really cl close, like really close, but maybe we didn't. What is it? Really Bits of person? Car up. Well, maybe it looks worse than it is. Uh, I should check out the damage before we try to start it up again, huh? Could you grab my, uh, the, the toolbox from the trunk? Yeah, yeah, okay. Oh, goodness. It's not so bad. My mom's gonna kill me. Nothing to say to that? Just leaves? Yeah, yeah, go around the back of the car by yourself where the old woman was hiding. This is, this is her good choices. Tutorial unlocked. Snoop. Am I snooping? Was this the right decision? I shouldn't have snooped. Breaking, it's a breach of trust. I snooped. Oh no. Why didn't you tell me? Well, we should, all right. Well, we, we won't tell him we snooped. We'll lie about it. That'll go well. Thanks, huh? I don't yeah. think I realized the snooping. Do you need a hand? Yeah, anyway. actually, if you could just shine a light right here. Here you go. Perfect, thank you. The sooner so, we get out of here, the better. Just picture but, yourself curling up in front of a big old fire pit singing campfire sing-alongs. I don't think people curl up right in front of big old fire pits. Why not? Uh, they don't want to catch on fire. And then picture yourself curling up in front of a big old space heater. Well, anywhere is better than here. Well, I'm not gonna go to investigate. All right, I guess I am. Let's go, let's see who's snooping from the woods. Can't go that way. See who's snooping. Snoopster, who are you? <sighs> you saw the lady in the nighty, didn't you? Where are you going? Just Where are you? Here. Just stay there for a second, okay? I'm almost done. Uh, I'm gonna com be compliant. Of course, because I'm not an idiot. Max, hurry up. What's going on? I'm worried that there's somebody down there. Are you serious? Yeah, I, they could be hurt. I don't know. I didn't think we actually hit anyone. Well, I don't know. I just, I heard something, okay? Like a, a woman. Do you think we hit her? I just want to check it out. Okay. All right. Just don't go too far, okay? Get You're down. coming. Yeah. You're coming. Okay. I'm ready for a quick time event. Luck with the car. <laughs> don't go by yourself. She'll go by herself. This is an oh, I'm a, I'm I'm a fool. The fool. I wonder who this is. We all know of a fool when we see one, don't we? Innocence of freedom or reckless in risk taking? Spontaneity. Actions without thought, but the consequences to match. Think, think, and don't get burnt. Certainly not foreshadowing. Certainly not me. Okay, just come out if you're gonna come out. What is over here? Nothing. It's a rock. What is this? What is this? A haunted poster. <sighs> Clue discovered. Hello. This is a poster from a traveling sideshow. It looks like it's been here a while. Left forgotten in the woods. Are those burn marks around the edges? 
Certainly not. <laughs> Just jump out at me already! Silly little idiot. Left or right? Let's go right, because I was initially facing right. This was a mistake. Who wanders off into a bog? A murky bog. This is... Hello? What the hell? <sighs> Broken cage. Dog boy. Yikes. Yeah. This is too weird. <laughs> I just want to show the text. Sideshow act. Blink, the dog boy. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Wander back to your boyfriend. Nope. Nope. Okay, why is- Oh, it's so funny. There she is. Why? She's lost. I'm not going back that way. Let her wander that way all she wants. I'm going this way. She can get a life. I'm going this way. I'm, I got other things to do other than hang out with her. I've got people to, people to, people to, you know. I'm way too stressed for this game. What do you want? Was that a, was that a, a dog howling? I'm too stressed for this game. I wasn't made for this game. I wasn't built for it, I don't think. Please go home. Find your boyfriend, it's so dark. It's so very dark. Wander home. Okay, I'm ready. You got a quick time event for me? I'm ready. Bring it on, bring it on, I think, probably. Bring it on. Y, X, A. Bring it on. <laughs> She's right there. No. I don't know, I don't know. Look about! Get her, get her, get her! Okay, 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 okay. Let's go, let's go. X, A, Y, B. Come on. I'm gonna get the first one wrong. I'm not used to a Switch controller. I should've used a PlayStation controller. This was a mistake. What do you want? Up, oh, down, down it is. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, which way are we going? We're going up. Let's go. Easy, easy. Thanks. <laughs> hey, 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 what's wrong? What's wrong? Is everything all right? Holy shit. Talk to me. What's going on? What's going on? There's something out there. Like, I was, there was noises all around honey, me. Okay? Honey, honey, take a breath. It's okay. It's the woods. There's a lot of stuff out there. There's animals. It's easy to freak yourself out. No. Can we just leave? Yes. yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Of course, let's go. Check the back seat. You all right? No. Yes, there we go. Fern like a kid. Max, come on. Here we go. Here we go. We're getting out of here. Oh, no. Are you kidding me? You're stuck. Max! I just, okay, give me a minute, give me a minute. We've got to go, Max! Alright, you're not helping right now. I was about to say you're not I helping. I am trying to get us out of here! Alright, just... enough! Shit, I'm sorry, honey. I'm sorry. It's okay. It's okay, it's okay. We're okay. We're safe in the car, really. We're gonna no, be you're... okay. Jesus! Oh, ah! fuck! Oh my god, my heart just exploded. Ted Raimi. <laughs> Roll it down. Don't do me like that. Hi, officer. How are you doing this evening? Are either of you injured? Really, we're fine. Mentally. We're a little shaken up. Emotionally. Mm -hmm. Where'd he go? Well, you folks want to tell me what happened here? 
Sure, we, we went off the road. Yeah, um... But honesty's the best policy. We, um... Uh, something jumped out right in front of the car and we didn't want to hit it, so we swerved and... Honesty, best policy. Yeah, here we are. Right there, right there. Something down. jumped out? Yeah, something. Something for sure. Just, I would say more crouched. It, it was dark. Uh, I'm sorry, it was, it was so dark and it happened so fast. And yeah. They were gone. I don't know. They? Ma'am, did you hit someone? No, no, no. God, no, of course not. You know, I mean, I don't think so. No, we, we didn't. But take us in, officer. You know? Sir. Get the car running. Sir? Cop seems anxious. Is this kind of like the all-time scariest cop? I don't know. This is my first cop. What, like ever? Uh, yeah, I'm not a criminal. He's gonna help us. He's gonna tow us, because that's what Ted Raimi does. You know, I'm happy he found us. That's our boy, Ted. Nothing bad better happen to Ted. Now, you folks want to tell me just what in the hell you are doing all the way out here this late at night? Sure. Yeah, we're heading to camp. We're heading up to Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp. Nice. Honesty. We're new counselors. You're one night early. No, no, we know. Um, but we figured we'd get in early and scope it out, you know? I mean, they know we're coming. We called ahead. And to be honest, sir, one of us kind of oversold their navigation skills and got us completely lost. Charming. Charming. You're not gonna make it to Haggett's quarry. Not tonight. Ted? What? Harbinger your motel. It's the nearest place you can bunk up there for the night, okay? Uh, I think we're just gonna stick to the plan, sir. I mean, Mr. Hackett knows we're coming and we called ahead. No, ma'am, you're gonna head to the Harbinger Motel. Do you understand? Ted, please! Why? Why not? Why not the quarry? With all due respect, sir, why can't we go to Hackett's quarry? Because I told you to go to the motel. Okay. Enough said. Okay, I just sir, don't understand yes, what the problem is. Ma'am, please step out of the vehicle. No. no! No, 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 no! She didn't do anything. Ma'am, if you wouldn't mind stepping out of the vehicle... I've made a mistake. I'd just like to show you a route on your map there. Okay, I believe him. I believe him. I believe him. I believe him. Just get out of the car, please. Son, remain in the vehicle. Cop's getting impatient. Just stay in the vehicle. Everyone stay calm. Okay. Show him the map. He's gonna help. It's Ted Raimi. He's a sweetie. Okay. So, we... are right about here. Harbinger Motel is here. Okay. Right, okay, and where was Hackett's quarry again? Don't push your luck. Well, I'm sure the fine folks at the Harbinger Motel can guide you there. Yeah. First Sounds thing good. in the morning. I love it. Perfect. Thank you. Sir, yes, sir. See you. Yeah. Have a wonderful evening. Harbinger Motel. I heard you. Stay on the road. Wait, but, but what if there's someone out there? Yeah, I'll have a look. Good night. <sighs> Why is he being weird? How did he find them out there? You know, something is amiss. Something is amiss. Uh-uh. Something's amiss. Why is this guy just sitting there? He's making sure you go to the motel. 
Relieved. Just be relieved. It's giving me major weirdo The dude needed like at least a dozen showers. Oh my god, I know. What was up with the thing? I Did you see was... that? Get out of there, please. What? Nice to meet you. <laughs> Just get out of there, please. <laughs> oh my god. Don't be laughing. All right, let's get back on the road. Yes. I think I've had enough woodland encounters for one night. Thank you very much. Agreed. So where's this motel? Words. Okay, so we're here, mm -hmm. and the motel is here. Okay. But we're going here. What's there? Hackett's quarry. How'd you do that? I don't know. I kind of tricked him into showing. <laughs> very slick. Are you sure we shouldn't just get to the motel? Just go to the motel. Honey, you really want to listen to the advice of some creep-ass cop who told us in the middle of the creep-ass woods to go to some creep-ass hotel? No, that sounds terrible. Yeah. Let's hit the road, shall we? That's what I thought. Ma'am. Oh my god! If he called me ma'am one more time, I was going to shove that badge up his dick. <laughs> Seriously, do I look Not like funny. a ma'am to you? I got like 20 years before I'm a ma'am. Mm-hmm. What? I... 20s debatable easy i mean i'm kind of into mams okay we're done <laughs> that's funny this game's stressful so far missing stardew valley right now i think he was just trying to save their life or something you gotta be kidding me there's nobody here we drive all the way the fuck out Max, here can we just look around before we jump to conclusions did you actually even talk to mr hackett or did you just leave a message well, what's the difference this this is the difference Hello? I guess he doesn't check his voicemail. How was I supposed to know that? I mean, clearly there's somebody here. Yeah, or it's just an abandoned car and this is a complete waste Why of time. Why would there be an abandoned... I'll beat no. the car. Max, come on. Max, don't be a dick. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I like Max. Is anybody home? Okay, get out of there, please. Damn it. It's dark, it's so dark. It's so darn dark. Light on inside? What is that, a light on in there? No. No, this is uh, this direction was a mistake actually. Oh god, there's a coffee cup there. Someone's been sipping tea. You see, there's lights on inside. This ain't it. Yes, go back down the steps to your boyfriend. Your nice but respectful boyfriend. Let's look at this little map. Something to see? Something to see here? Fire pit, tree house, jetty, the lodge, boathouse, car park, that's where we are. A terrible slogan that makes you think you're maybe gonna die. Fun. <laughs> she acknowledges it. What doesn't kill you will make you stronger. Lord, there's no one here, come on. Just give me one more minute, okay? What happens if I just don't? No, creepy abandoned car! Alright, we're gonna go investigate it. That's what video games are for. They're for horrifying yourself. This... I'm not fine. Generally. Let's get out of here. I'm out of here! see I should have not I should have not and said I did you know I bet you I could make a choice to not open this door oh frick no frick no you get out of my face right now there's a person down hey. there hey hey are you okay no they're locked in a basement you idiot I'll be right back I'm gonna get some help 
I should have gotten out of there. This was a mistake. Max! I, I've, I've made a mistake. Max, get over here! No. <laughs> There's somebody in the bunker. I think they might be stuck. Stuck? Is it Mr. Hackett? I, I don't know. Just bring some tools so we can break the lock. <laughs> no! Hey, okay, I'm back. We're gonna get you out of there. Hey. hey. <sighs> what are these? I don't know. You just said tools. Why didn't you just bring... <laughs> Look, there's someone in there. No, please don't look. Uh, I'm not seeing anyone. What? No, look. I'm looking, I am. <laughs> Let me see. <laughs> Arg. Arg. There, there was definitely someone there. Okay. Okay, so... No. No. No! Take wrenches or take hammer? I'll take the hammer. It's a good now weapon. You sure? It's gonna no. be super loud. No, 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 no. Yeah, okay, wrenches. Wrenches. Yeah, okay. Wrenches. 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 No, I don't wanna do this. I feels, you know, it really does feel like maybe I shouldn't. Damn. You need a hand? Yeah. <sighs> Don't do it. She's gonna do it. She'll do it. You've seen Evil Dead, right? Yes, I have. Hello? <sighs> Mistakes were made. Are you hurt? Do you exist? <laughs> I'm not going any further. I should have hey, gone back to the car. Be careful. Go with her. Uh. <sighs> Ian, it's Ian. I hate this game. I hate this game. I'm gonna quit now. I'm gonna quit. It's a blood collar. Left to view. Let's view it. Let's stall and view it, shall we? <laughs> the bloody collar looks to be too big for a dog. What kind of dog would be called Ian anyway? That's a person. That's a wet, fresh person. Max? Eaten. Max is gone now. Max is dead. Max has been dead. Yeah, go that way, sweetheart. Go back for Max! Just go! Be brave! I'm ready. Hun, maybe I'm... it was a possum or something. No, there was, there was someone here, I swear. Hey, it's been kind of a night, you know? Let's just get to the motel. We can come back here first thing in the morning, we can check everything out, but... I mean, you must be exhausted. I know I am. I think our imagination. <laughs> Max. Stupid. Max. Guess what? Help. Help him. Help him. No. Oh. Help him, please. I love Max. I didn't leave no lie. Help him, please. Help Max. Help Max. Path chosen, yeah. There's no other path. Max is sweetie boy. Come on. Max, I need a little bit of your help here, my friend. Use your legs if you can. Come on, I got you. Let's go. Pull it up. Let's go. There he is. See? What do you mean leave, Max? None of that. Now shut the door. Please. No! 
I didn't do that. What? What? I didn't do that. Ted? Does this look like the goddamn Harbinger Motel to you? He could have lived. He could have lived. I feel as though he could have lived, you know, if I had turned back earlier, or if I had just not investigated and just gone to the car, or if I had just gone to the Harbinger Hotel. Does this look like the Harbinger Hotel? <laughs> Ted. Don't be a weird cannibal, Ted. Hello, my friend. Pardon? Welcome to the show. We are friends, aren't we? Yeah. I've waited for you. I've waited. Yes. So I do hope our time together proves enlightening. There's no need to worry. I'm here to help you. Think of me as your guide into the unknown. It's exciting, yes, and terrifying. But if you're brave enough, if you let me help you, I can help you. Okay, I, I We will. can help each other. Deal. Whatever you need. This is the card you found. The fool. I wonder who this is. <laughs> we all know a fool when we see one, don't we? Innocence and freedom. All recklessness and risk-taking. Spontaneity. Actions without thought, but the consequences to match. Think and don't get burned. I can show you more if you'd like me to. Yeah, I'll see more, sure. This is what might come to pass. A possible future. A path yet unchosen. Look here, look here. There are secrets out there, you know. Secrets and lies. Paths to uncover on which I can shed light, if you let me. Yes. Help me help you. Okay. And remember, what doesn't kill you will make you stronger. Okay. <laughs> That's a horrifying prologue and I'm happy it's over. Nothing but uphill from here. Sunshine and happy music. Chapter one, Hackett's Quarry Forever. <laughs> is, this gonna, is this gonna be the following day? <sighs> or are they leaving? Peace and love. See you later, kids. It's the yeah. end of the summer. Hackett's Quarry End of the summer. You know how many hearts are broken on the last day of summer camp? It's like a romance apocalypse. Reflective. Hmm. I mean, you never know. The universe has a kind of way of uh, working these things out. Hmm. The universe? Yeah, like the uh, the cosmic space gods. Space gods. You heard me. Okay, spell it. It's nothing to spell. You know, we're cool. Oh, so cool. We are super cool. So she dumped her ass, huh? Ah. <laughs> uh. Quit it. Hi, Emma. Hey. <laughs> okay, this is, um... You've heard of spatial awareness before, yeah. right? Spatial awareness is for nerds. <laughs> uh, be a lamb and grab the last couple of bags, will you? Yes, boss. Say hi to Emma for me. You're a bad person. Yes, I am. 
It's daytime. Nothing bad ever happens in daytime, although we're not going to go toward these yellow doors, are we? Or are we? Should we just go investigate quickly? See what the what is? <sighs> First, we'll talk to our friend. Hey. According to reports from the local paper, the North Hill, <clears throat> some hay bales caught fire during the opening. Hey, what are, you, uh, what are you listening to? Before they knew it, the place was up in smoke. Good to know. Wait a minute. I'm investigating doors here. Out of my way. They don't care about the doors or the, any investigation at all. What are you looking at up there? I don't know. Just seeing if there's something to investigate. Won't catch me not investigating stuff. Unless I've missed a bunch of stuff already. Sad. Sadness. Oh, see? This is why we investigate. What'd you find? A little wrapper? We don't litter here. <laughs> What? Oh, fuck you, you spider fuck. Oh. No, we don't squash. We don't squash. No. Let it live. Yeah, nice. You better run. <laughs> yeah, you better run. We don't squash here. We pick up litter, though. How do we pick it up? How do we pick up a bit of litter? No? Okay. Well, we did our best. Oh, what's this? Someone oh, left hey. something. This is Emma's. Oh. Path chosen. I didn't choose for him to put his ex-girlfriend's bracelet on. That was all him. To me, it makes it harder to leave her behind. But, uh, you know, do what you gotta do, right? Okay, we've already seen this. Okay, okay, okay. What doesn't kill you will make you stronger. Not in the mood, sign. <sighs> Not in the mood, sign. Should we see if there's anything upstairs? If there were a way, in theory, to make him walk faster, what would it be? Oh, he's going for the door. Oh, Jesus Christ. Hey, are you guys gonna help with the bags or what? Oh, um, you know, I was actually just working on fixing uh, the door. It's Dylan, come it's on. broken. Dylan, please. I can't. It's, it's... I gotta get the last bags What's in there. Come wrong on. with this thing? It's just Dylan, please. <laughs> cool. Thanks, guys. Oh, all right. What happened to our leads at the beginning? Uh, did Max die? I liked Max, you know? Sad. What's this? I didn't mean to press that. Dipshit's bolted it? Really? Yes. Well. It's okay by me. I'm here to pick up whatever this is. Or to look at something. Okay. Just checking it all out. Seeing what the what is. Oh my, he's going. So just before you go in there. All right. Oh, skill. Yes. Skill. I just want him to go back out the window just for one quick sec. I want to talk to the girl by the car oh, before I go skill. in there. And double skill. Oh. Now this is what fate told me to do, so this is what I'm doing. I changed my mind. Oh, triple skill. Anything to find? Let's find out. Yep, something here. Ugh, horror. I hate horror. <laughs> Relatable. <laughs> Although not so much anymore, I will say. Goodness, we're really exploring, aren't we? Good for us. There's the front door, I assume. What's temperance? What was that? Ah! Oh. It was found. Where was that? I'd like to see that card. Is there a way for me to see that card? I'll find it. 
It'll come back to me when it's meant to. <laughs> What's this? I don't want to explore this cabin anymore. Man, that's a bad place to get stuck. That won't be foreshadow. Nah. <clears throat> nice, the bags. I'm supposed to be here. I knew it. like to explore a bit more hmm. wasn't meant to be all right got the bags great all by yourself huh yep guess you're gonna have to get used to that oh my god you are so mean <laughs> at least i'm honest oh okay here we go okay you're not telling me the whole truth about you and emma are you son let's be playful Oh, okay. So now I'm the one who's not telling the whole story, huh? <laughs> oh, well, this is the bait I just got to take, Jake. Oh. Ooh. Oh, sorry. I just got so distracted about that rhyme. I forgot what we oh, were. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, you were telling me how you totally have a thing for Ryan. Wait, are we talking about Ryan, the sailing instructor with the sexy brooding loner thing that totally doesn't do anything for me at all? Ah, sexy, huh? Hottest at camp by far. Okay, sure. Uh, look, it was all settled by the girls in bunk seven, like second day of camp. It goes Ryan, me of course, then Dylan, Emma, Abby, okay, Nick, and then <sighs> Mr. H. And... Okay, are you almost finished? Please. Yep, that's it. That's everyone. That's everyone. <laughs> Poor guy. He's handsome. So she really just dumped her ass, huh? Uh -huh. I don't. Okay, her whole thing. Is like, how are we gonna make this work? Different schools, blah, blah, blah. My whole thing is like, you know, maybe long distance, blah, 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 blah. And she was just like, Jacob. She gave you the look, huh? Yeah, do not pass go. Man, she just got you wrapped all the way around that dainty little finger of hers. How does she do it? <laughs> Defeated. Brave. We'll be brave. No, but I mean, seriously, come on, she's right. It's just like a. Stupid summer fling. What else did I think was gonna happen? Uh, let's see. Uh, love, stability, engagement, marriage, house, kid, affair, kid, divorce, <laughs> loneliness, child support, visitation lawsuit, mm. surprise reconciliation, empty nest, retirement, grandkid, 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 uh, nursing home, and finally, dying in each other's arms and then being buried in each other's arms like those thousand-year-old skeletons they dug up in Rome or something. That kind of in the ballpark? Oh, shit, yeah. I'm sorry. That was Ryan and me. Uh, <laughs> let me see. Here it is. Yours just says Roadhead. Oh, actually, that's just a generic all-men list. Well, that seems legit. <laughs> I like them. I hope that so they get together. So are we sure that this old rust bucket's roadworthy? <laughs> we'll take a look. It better be. One more night in the great outdoors might actually kill me. Hey, what doesn't kill you will make you stronger. Well, nice. I haven't killed you yet. And you're still pretty pathetic. Hey, shut up. <clears throat> uh, okay, so, um... Total hypothetical, but if I was like a huge asshole and I wanted to break down the van so we'd have to spend another night here, uh, what exactly would I need to do? Well, you'd probably break the fuel line or, I don't know, rip out the rotor arm. And yes, that would make you a total asshole. Okay, and what does a rotor arm look like again? It's like an arm that's all rotary. You know, it's under the little black dome with the leads poking out. Jake. You do realize that even if we somehow did get stuck out here, one more night with Emma wouldn't make a difference. Trust me, Chick's made up her mind. Yeah. Sure. Guess we'll just have to find out. <sighs> Break fuel line, steal rotor arm. Okay. Um, uh, let's steal the rotor arm because it feels less intense than breaking a fuel line. We'll steal the rotor arm. It looks like a rotor and an arm. Don't forget, she, she, she said that. 
<laughs> Path chosen. Every time it says that, it stresses me out. I'll put you right back tomorrow. No harm, no foul. Up here, my dudes. Why did they look like they're up to something? Hey, Jacob. What? No, dude, please. D d d d long. Oh, yeah. Is that his phone? Dude. Nice. Boom. Oh. oh. There it is. <laughs> oh, man. Good <laughs> sight. Oh. Freak. Oh. Get it. Yeah, you oh. celebrate. Ooh, you deserve it. Singles. Freaks. <clears throat> I'm surrounded by freaks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank God. I'm gonna get the whole no technology thing, but take me back, world. You would have thought Mr. H could have, like, charged up our phones, like, a little bit. Nothing's ever your fault, is it? <laughs> you know, you should really just save it for emergencies only. <laughs> Unless, of course, is being dumped an emergency? <laughs> oh, so oh, mean man. to him! Ugh. Be friendly. Be friendly. At least I got some. Uh, okay, well, at least I had a relationship this summer. Ooh, damn. Nice. Now we burn. Yeah, well, maybe not everyone is looking for a hook. Okay, 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 let's all put our little dicks away and get this show on the road, huh? <laughs> I love her. I love her. Where's Nothing bad that happened to her. Why, why would I know that? Mm -hmm. Sometimes you know stuff I don't. Look, I don't, I don't even know how to respond to that. You say, Nick, you're way smarter than me, and you're a super hot stud who gets any chick he wants. Okay, yeah, keep dreaming, Junior. Hackett's, Hackett's Quarry, Camp, Cabins. Hey there, party bear. Status report? We are officially empty nesters. High five up top. Woo! Oh, don't miss. Nice. Oh boy. You're about to get your phone back, aren't you? Let's go collect our bags and away from this mosquito-infested backwoods dump. Oh. Doors locked, bags inside. <sighs> Fuck me. Yep. Well, it's obvious what we have to do here. Find someone with a key? Shape our destiny. And by shape our destiny, I mean shape our way through this crappy lock and grab our bags. Get it done. Leave bags. Break in. Should we break in or leave the bags? Mm, we'll break in. Okay. Nice. Let's do it. We better not get in trouble. I won't well, tell. You won't tell. Mr. Hackett's gonna find out. So what? He'll just think it was a bear or something. Have you ever seen a bear in these woods? No, but that doesn't mean they're not out there. Fair point. All right, let's do this. On three. One. Two. Three! Ugh. It was just open. Oh, kind of. about the power of positive thinking. Why do I ever listen to you? Because I'm always right. Are you sure they're gonna think it was a bear? Oh, yes. my God, relax. It's not like we killed someone. Emma's proud of me. All right, well, I'm just Sounds gonna good. take another look around, make sure we didn't miss anything. Go nuts. Great. Okay. Uh, we Aww. did, right out the gate. This was little Izzy's. Ah, uh, take it. That's cute. Oh. I wanna play a game. No. <laughs> no. Should we keep it or should we leave it? I guess I'll keep it. If I'm trying to Take be quiet back, later, um, if I'm trying to be quiet later and that thing goes off, I'm gonna be pissed. We're gonna play a game! While I'm trying to be, trying to be all stealthy, I'm gonna be upset. Maybe should have left it. Izzy would have gotten over it. What else? What else can I, can I take? <laughs> Can't believe I'm actually gonna miss all those lumpy loose springs. That's camp for you. Why would this place be in the news? Newspaper headline. A scrap from the local newspaper, the North Kill Gazette. It doesn't look recent. Something about a fire was it here at Hackett's Quarry. The carpet cage has been engulfed by the woods over time. Yes. Didn't want to keep that? That little scrap? Okay. 
Anything at the back? No. Okay. That was fruitful. Glad I did that. All these shadows look weird and possessed. <sighs> All right, let's go explore. This is a horrible mistake. No one's been up here in years. Weird crow. <gasps> All right. It's gonna be weird not waking up to Dylan's morning announcements. <gasps> Is that it? Someone's gonna be there or something! <sighs> what? 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 I, I... I missed something weird for sure. Hey! You stop! <gasps> You trying to get my attention over here? Or something? I'm probably not supposed to be all the way back here, am I? This is a bit weird. Is this the girl from Modern Family? It looks a lot like the actress. I'm just gonna go cabin by cabin, just snooping. Just being a big old snoop. Aha! Hello, what's here? Oh! Found some evidence! Nice. Oh. Everyone likes a scavenger hunt. And at Hackett's Quarry, that's no different. There are secrets in these woods. Fun secrets that should you uncover them, could help protect you from criminal prosecution. After all, the stories you'll take with you are only stories without the proof to back them up. So it's time to dive into the mystery, take pictures, or find pieces of evidence, and you may just prove your innocence. Huh. Or not. What are these? At certain times throughout the night, opportunities will present themselves, giving you the chance to take matters into your own hands. Huh. It is worth noting that they are only suggestions. You don't have to act upon them. In fact, sometimes it's better not to. Okay, got it. Got it. And path chosen. It's pretty self-explanatory, but here we are. Hackett's quarry is full of twists and turns, unknown paths, and unexplored wonders. With each step taken, you tread a path of your own, matched with its very own consequences. There will be moments throughout your stay that show you that the choices you've made, the path you've chosen, could have gone another way. At Hackett's quarry, there's no such thing as the wrong way. But be warned. Some paths are more dangerous than others. Wow. And it won't be the path you expect. Huh. Okay, okay. All right. Ouch. Let's hope Jacob hasn't seen this. Empty vial. Empty vial with an unpleasant odor. <sighs> what is it, poison or something? What is that? Don't know. Take it with you. Take it. Take it or something. Take it. All right. God, we found it. Hello. Ready to roll? Mm hmm. Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh. Finally. Time to let loose and vamoose this caboose. Nice. How are you so... Dramatic? Annoying. Uh. Confident. It's just acting. It's what the people want. So you're faking it? I mean, in a way, faking it is just being yourself, but louder. Hmm. You should hmm. try it sometime. 
You never know who you might impress. No. <laughs> it's too late now anyway. For what? You and Nick? You never know unless you put yourself out there. Careful! The rock! Alright, which way are we going? We're going right. She's getting good at the quick time oh, events! Wow! Oh. <gasps> nice steering, Tex. Thanks. Thank you. That could have okay, been bad. Okay, so, hypothetically, if I were to put myself out there, what if he ends up being a dud? Kind of like you and Jacob. He's actually really sweet. Then why'd you quit it? Summer fling. We're going to school, like, four states away. I, he gets it. Yeah, sure. But, that's us. You and Nick could be different. When do you get his handle? Hit him up. Oh, I already have his email. It was in the packet they gave to us on the first day. <sighs> email? Aww. Are you 93? What's wrong with email? <laughs> I'm really gonna miss you, Abby. Oh, hold up! Oh, but the lodge is that way. Go right here. Why? Come on, scenic route? One last victory lap around the camp? Okay. Back to lodge, scenic route. We're going the scenic route. Because we make mistakes sure. here. What's the victory? Two months. <clears throat> no technology. I kind of thought it was nice to be offline. Ugh, I didn't. Plus, my subs need me. Supportive or sarcastic? Supportive. You know what? I actually believe you. Abby, was that a compliment? Your charm is infectious. What can I say? <laughs> I'd subscribe. You better. As soon as you get home, sub, share, smash that. Don't like forget button. to subscribe and the smash the like button. Okay, well, now I'm really regretting it. Oh, no, you love me. <laughs> If she wants you to do it, you can't let her down. My favorite spot? The fire pit? The island. Mad secluded, right? Is... Is that smoke? Should we tell someone? Mm, it looks yes. pretty contained. It's probably just Mr. H burning some stuff before, you know, he closes camp for the summer. Yeah. Speaking of which, we should, we should probably, you know, get back. Oh, yeah. Worried Nick's, you know, gonna leave it at you? Well, no, they're probably, like, all waiting for us. Mm-hmm. Everyone's waiting for us. Everyone, yeah. Nick, waiting for you. All, everyone, same. Mm -hmm. Who are you? Who is there? Somebody bad. Stay tuned and find out. Hackett's Quarry, Summer Camp, Entrance. Dylan. Don't worry, Jacob, I got you. I got a full tank of gas, so. <clears throat> oh, fuck me. <laughs> oh, idiot. Is <laughs> nobody on phone chargers anymore? Hey, there's no signal out here anyways, dude, okay? This place is like patchy as balls. <sighs> Your balls are patchy? What? No. <sighs> it's okay, I'll just go get some juice from Mr. H before we go. And... Uh, ew. <sighs> Hey, Nick. Hey, where were you guys? <gasps> Wouldn't you like to know? Ignore her, please. Let's go. Just gotta get these bags up onto the... Oh, hey, hey, here. Let me, um, let me get it for you. I can take uh, care of my own bag, thank you. Uh, are you sure? Because, I mean, it's really not that big of a deal. She can take care of her own bag, thank you. We can <sighs> both take care of our own bag, thank you. He's sweet, you know? Ah, I don't know. Cool. Cool. <sighs> nudge. Should we nudge? I'll nudge. Uh, uh, Abby, do you need... Yeah. Can I... Thank you. <laughs> Dumps it? <laughs> Nice. Good move. Nice. Glad I nudged. <laughs> Cute. Hey, has anyone seen Ryan? 
Oh yeah, he's probably off being all brooding and mysterious and alluring somewhere. <laughs> I'm here. Uh, what were you doing under there? Having a little me party? Uh, I was listening to a podcast, actually. Oh, podcast. Nice. That's cool. What's it about? Protective or friendly? Is it about me? Oh, let's, let's be friendly. Yeah, what's it about? Is it about me? <laughs> is it about you me? I think I was listening to a podcast <laughs> about you. Okay, if <laughs> anyone here had a podcast about them, it'd be me. Yeah, if there was a podcast called How to Look and Smell Like a Butt. Oh my god, you are so childish. Really, so don't look and smell like a butt. <laughs> no, it's a, it's a paranormal podcast. Th this episode was actually about this place, weirdly enough. The Hag of Hackett's Quarry. The who of the what's it where now? We met her. What's the Hag of Hackett's Quarry? You don't know about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry? Uh, if I did, would I be asking them ass? Tell her about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. I don't think she wants to know about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. <laughs> oh, can we just please stop saying the Hag of Hackett's Quarry? <laughs> I was just thinking that. It's just this campfire story for the kids. It's, um, there's supposedly an old woman who died in a fire a few years back. Oh. She haunts the woods looking for her lost baby boy. There are, like, reports of whispers or whatever, and then this figure that floats around, you know, textbook ghost stuff. Some people say that if she catches you alone, she'll try to turn you into her son or kill you or something. I don't know. It's never really been clear. Anyways, Haga Haggett's Corey. You made that up. It's right here in the podcast, man. Cool story, bro. Defensive or support? Let's be supportive. Seriously, though, you should have seen the first time he told the story to the kids at the campfire. They were scarred for life. I mean, not for life. <laughs> Just for now. You gotta be careful with this stuff, man. This shit's true. Come on, dude, bullshit. What's the holdup, Hacketeers? Uh, yeah, uh, nearly done, Mr. H. We're up to it. Get those butts in gear. Wow. Sorry, Mr. H. You had to liberate some luggage. Shut up. Maybe if somebody didn't spend so much time trying to press the ladies ball as ghost stories. You asked. Ghost stories? The Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Oh! <sighs> hey, you still have the van key, Mr. H? Well, yes, I do. Throw it. I'll do a quick time event. Well, you know, <sighs> I'd lose my head if it wasn't stuck on. Back to the office I go. Give me a hand, would you, Ryan? Oh, okay. Yo, Mr. H. What's up, DJ Dylan? Any chance I could get a little charge? I want to have some uh, tunes for the road. No can do. Understanding or annoyed? I think it's okay to be a bit annoyed here. That's annoying. Come on, that's like super unchill. Hey, dude, I'm like the chillest flipping bro in the whole world, man. <laughs> Fair I enough. just need some tunes for the ride, man. <laughs> tunes, man. All right, that's enough. Five minutes? Like, like five minutes, that's all I need, man. You said no, Dylan. Okay, yeah, I know, but I was just... All right, he's just, the van. Okay. he's just trying. He's just trying. Not all of us have enough juice to listen to a podcast, you know? They don't have to be nice all the time. So, Hack and score uh, Lodge. Chris, I I'm actually glad we got a moment to talk. Uh, uh oh, I'm not <laughs> fired, am I? <laughs> no, no, it's, um, it's just, you know, about the whole thing w with the... Hold that thought, partner. I'm gonna have to take this. Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, uh, sorry. Is it private? Okay. Hello. Listen to eavesdrop, eavesdrop for sure. What? The stupid kids. Don't need to be so much of a... They're almost out of here, all right? You're cutting it pretty close. We don't want to have... Just hold your damn horses, all right? Everything's A-OK -okay on this end. Bobby and I are geared up. If he's in the area, we'll get him. This is a waste of time. You know it, I know it. 
No, should I have? He's gone quiet. Try staying out of the way. Speaking of which, the longer you keep me on this damn phone, the longer it's gonna take me to get rid of these damn kids. Yeah, of course. Adios. Now back off. Back off from the door, my, my pal. Back right off. From the door! Back off from the door! Sorry, I, I wasn't... I wasn't listening. I, I was just, like, waiting. Like, I mean, I heard... I, I mean, I, was, I didn't hear what you were... Saying. We're cool, champ. Just come on in. Sorry I pushed you Great. out like that. Disappointed, oh boy. Don't love that. <sighs> you, uh, you need a hand? Looking for the keys? Uh, no, end of summer, busy, busy, you know. Anyway, you were asking me? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, it was just the whole animation school thing, what you thought I should do. Right. Y you know, whether or not I should, like, leave my sister with my grandparents, since I'd have to live on campus, you know, and my mom's not exactly around, so I wouldn't want to leave Sarah on her own. Oh, my, fam my family's small enough as it is. Well, family is important, Ryan. He wants advice. Give him some advice. Dang it. What is it? Frustrated or concerned? Let's be concerned. Is everything okay? You got a hot day tonight? Oh boy. If you only knew. <laughs> well, tell me. Lay, lay, lay down your load. <laughs> So, uh, what, what did you need me for? You're one of my favorite counselors, Ryan. You know that. One of the good ones. But, do you know how many calls I get from parents, letter after letter, with these terrified kids that they send home? Huh. I, I, I didn't realize that. Believe it or not, scaring kids away from sleepaway camp is kind of bad for business. <laughs> so, maybe just... Ease up on the ghost stories. Okay. Yeah, apologetic, that's fine. Sorry, I didn't realize yeah. it was such a big deal. It's Gotta big understand deal. the yeah. repercussions of your actions, Buster. Okay. It's a big part of being a counselor, a leader. Yeah. Just stick to kumbaya next time, okay? <laughs> What's that? It's you guys don't do kumbaya anymore? Okay. Good grief. I'm outgrowing my own cliches. Seriously, Chris, what's going on? I just want to get you guys safely out of Dodge before the sun goes down. Inquisitive. Inquisitive for sure. Why? It's getting dark, Ryan, and it's not safe to drive in the dark. And safety is the first step towards... Fun. Just give me a minute. Where in the good goddamn are they? Ah. Will you say goodbye to Caleb and Kaylee for me? They sort of just snuck off. Well, you'll see them again next year. Caleb works at the scrapyard during the off season, and Kaylee. Well, she's still figuring out what she wants to do. She's got her whole life ahead of her. They both just come and go as they please, really. Teenagers, am I right? Actually, could have used the help packing up since we were short-staffed. Hey, you guys seem to manage all right. But I'll tell them both you were sad you missed them. Unlocked the van, put the keys in my pocket, came in the office... Uh-huh. Right where I left him. Uh -huh. Let's skedaddle. <sighs> Make sure they're all ready to go. For real this time. Okay. Wait, how did you get your phone back before the rest of us? I never turned it in. You sure did turn it off before you handed it in, Dylan. Them's the rules, you noob. You noob? I try not to dwell on the past, man. Good. Because it's time to dwell on the minivan. 
get on with our respective lives. Move it, let's go. He knows it's not gonna work. What's the problem? Ugh, dude, I don't know. I, I think there's something wrong with the engine, Mr. H. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, dude, it's just like kaput. All right, let me try. What, dude, I'm telling you, all right, it's busted. Well, maybe you're doing well, it wrong. Well, maybe you're doing it wrong. Be nice. What the fuck, dude? Enough. Enough, both of you. Shit. Come on. All right, come dude, on. Chill. Chill, Let's go. dude. I'm Damn it! I thought I told you kids to check everything. No, we did. It, it should be working. Yeah, well, coulda and shoulda doesn't mean it is, does it? Damn it! Okay. Uh, okay. Well, uh, look, it's not that big of a deal, okay? We'll just spend one more night here. No! No! Just stop. Let me think. Okay. Damn it. Stakes you're right. You're right. Yeah. Sheesh. What? Yeah, you're right. Catch him. I'll catch him. Easy. Easy. Hey, Brian. Come here for a sec. Make sure that everybody is inside the lodge for tonight. Lock the doors. No one in, no one out. No one. Got it? Okay. I'll be back first thing in the morning. And we'll get you all on the road. You just have to keep everyone inside. Can you promise me you'll do that? I'm, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna say... Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. We'll, we'll stay inside. And a boy. Lock the doors. And for God's sake, keep the noise down. What's happening? So what was that about? He, uh, said to stay inside, that we're not leaving until the morning. Are you kidding me? Um. Are you kidding me? What are we supposed to do? Well, we should go inside, like he said. We could go inside until morning. Yeah. Or... Or we could do something else. Nah. <sighs> no. No, 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 no. We should really I don't want to listen be curious. to what Chris told us to do. Of course. Uh, who cares what Chris told us to do? He's not our boss anymore. P A R T. Why the fuck not? All right, it seems like the stars have aligned for us, no? Okay, okay, okay. No. One last epic bonfire blowout for all no. time. No. No. Oh, dude. Fuck yes. I'm in, Nick. You're in. Yeah, I'm in. Dylan's in, obviously. My You're gonna man. die, and you're Caitlin. gonna die. You're gonna die. I go where my people need me. Yeah, okay. M, what do you say? Mm. No, I wanna live. <laughs> yeah, I'm in. Ah, <sighs> too bad. Mr. Hackett seemed pretty insistent we That's my girl. Watch. He was just trying to freak us out, you know? Like, um... Like one of Ryan's stupid ghost stories. Why would he want to scare us? Good question. Supportive. He was just concerned for us. He did seem freaked out. I'm gonna say he did seem freaked out. I don't think he was trying to freak us out, Jacob. Yeah. I think he was really freaked out by something. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Chris seemed real serious about this, guys. I don't want to party. Just say you're in, man. Come on, one no. last night. No. I'm not gonna yeah, do dude, it. He won't even know. I, I promised. No, 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 dude, dude. It's all good. All right, we get it. You know, you, uh, you don't want to disappoint Daddy. Oh no, the group's getting bored of Ryan. Oh no. 
I'm gonna say someone's gotta give a shit. Yeah, well, someone's gotta give a shit. Oh. You know what? <gasps> I don't even care what you guys do. Oh. I'm doing what Chris <laughs> told me to do. <sighs> Ryan, come on, man. Wait. All right, all right, all right. Hacketeers. Party planning committee. Let's do this. Um, okay. <sighs> first things first. Nick and Abby, you go get some firewood. Uh, M and I will go to the stores for some supplies. Kiss a bit. And uh, Dylan, you just, I don't know, figure out how to charge the phones or something. All right, let's do this. You know, get sniped in the back of the head? This is a full sniper! Oh my goodness. That person's covered in full blood. So, who are these people? Why is he covered in wet blood? Hunting season? I was hoping you'd come back to me. Let's see what you found. Some things. Temperance I found. Yes. Temperance. Okay, that's good. To be balanced. To consume in moderation. Or to indulge in excess. Temperance. Take it or leave it. But remember, sometimes, with temperance comes deferred gratification. Okay. There's more I can show you, if you like. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah, I'll see more. I'll definitely see more. I was hoping you'd say that. Of course I'll see more. I always see more. I, I, like, I like to get clues. Love a clue. Shells are gonna explode. You'd better be going. It's still early and the moon is bright, but time won't wait. Not for those with a story to tell. Be careful. Look out for yourselves. And look out for my cards. I will. I will look out for your cards. <laughs> Chapter two! And we're gonna leave it there for part one of The Quarry. Prologue and chapter one complete. Takeaways so far, I shouldn't have started playing this game in the evening. This is a daytime game to play. And my second takeaway is I'm really enjoying the characters so far. It's hunting season, baby. Let's see what happens next. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and the little bell so that you don't miss part two of The Quarry. See you soon.